Alright, so we're talking about spark plugs today. Um, the stock spark plug that comes with these motors is this one. It doesn't have a brand, but it's, it's, the number designation is Z4C. Uh, as you can tell, this we had this one in there for a little while. Right, the, the gap on this one was 0.27 when it came factory when I took it out. I replaced it with the recommended NGK B5HS, which is a hotter plug, and this one is recommended according to a lot of the forum guys that I've read to be gapped at 0.24. That's where it's gapped at now. Um, I'm going to walk through the stuff that you need to change the spark plug and regap it, clean it. Right, right now, what you need is you need the spark plug wrench, you need a tool to turn the wrench, you need a small bristle brush to clean it with, and you need a gapping tool. This one is an auto light. This end's got both metric and standard. First step you want to do here is you want to take off your spark plug wire. You want to be careful because there's a spring inside that you can separate from the wire and you can mess the whole thing up. So you want to be firm but smooth when you're pulling it off. Next step is spark plug wrench on top. You want to line me up where you can get a good, you know, get a good come on, through there. Let the loose right righty tighty, remember? You want to break her loose and then spin it out with your fingers the rest of the way. That way you save yourself from tearing up the threads. I cleaned this one earlier. As you can see, it's running pretty good. It's got a good strong burn on it. I'm just going to brush it off a little bit. Get all the carbon build up off. Gap looks pretty good, but I'm going to check it anyway. Like I said earlier, I have this one gapped at 0.24. Right? So, starting from the smallest, which is 0.20 on this Autolac gauge, you just slide her in and you just twist it around until, you, until it doesn't want to slide anymore. This one's at right there, 0.24. Yep, that's pretty good. I'm saying so. After you get it clean, you got readjusted, then you want to take your rag and you want to make sure that you don't have any debris or anything that's going to fall in the hole, right? Mess up the spark, you understand? Or worse, burn a hole in the top of your Chinese piston here. When you thread it back in, you want to do it by hand. You want to make sure that you line it up, screw it right in. And if it doesn't go, then you don't have it on the right line. Screw it all the way in until the washer makes contact with the cylinder head. Right there, snug fit. Put your tool back on. Make sure you got a good line. That was a quarter turn right there. Look inside, make sure your spring and everything is still in good shape. It's not separated. Slide her in, snap it on. That's how you change and replug your gap. Now, there's a couple other things I want to talk about here in regards to your spark plugs. Right? Now, a lot of manufacturers have a heat range for spark plugs that run between 1 and 10, or like NGK, the one that I've switched to, theirs is between 2 and 11. Now, the lower the number, the harder the spark plug. The higher the number, the colder the spark plug. Now, this, five B, this B5HS NGK is a little bit on the hotter side. It's a little hotter than the start plug, right? You know what I'm saying? It burns a little bit better. But you don't want to get a plug that's too hot because if you get a plug that's too hot, then you, you're going to have debris on the bottom of the electrode and all that stuff is going to splinter the spark and you're going to lose a lot of spark. You're not going to have a lot of energy coming out of your power. You know, you've got a lot of energy coming out of here, but it's not going to get here. It's not going to run good. If it's too cold, that could lead to some serious detonation and pre-ignition problems inside your cylinder head, inside your combustion chamber here, which could end up burning holes in your piston, melting the bottom of the electron, your spark plug, all that kind of stuff. It's not really good. So you want to try to go with the recommended heat range of the spark plug for your engine. This one here is the NGK B5HS or B6HS, which is one step closer. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about, you know, Sam, was fuel economy. 
if you got your spark plug gap set and you're running optimal and then you're running on the pipe, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get the best fuel mileage out of this little engine that you're going to get. Some people claim to get 125,000 miles to the gallon. You know what, we've been running this thing now here for about a month. It's got 100 or so miles on in a few hours. It's gone up in fuel mileage after the break-in. Right, and right now it's probably running at optimum. I figure I'm probably getting about oh, between 65 and 80 miles to the gallon right now. That's simply because I spend a lot of time maintaining this thing, keeping it clean, running it, keeping the filter clean, running good gas in it. I showed you earlier in a different video how to mix the fuel right. You know saying? Keeping everything up to date. You know saying? It all starts right here with the spark plug. If you got a bad spark plug, a dirty spark plug, or a foul out spark plug, it's not going to run. It's going to run like crap. You can get terrible mileage, and that's all there is to it. Right? If you like what I'm saying, please subscribe. Thank you.